What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I am not the single guy. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that a lot of you guys have been wondering about and that's how to get a girl to like you over text. Texting can be a very confusing thing and for a lot of you, you're staring at your phone wondering what went wrong. You know, maybe you'll be texting a girl and it's going great. You're re she's responding to all of your messages. You're going back and forth. It seems like she really likes you and then for some reason she just stops texting you or maybe the responses get slower and slower and then you stop hearing from her completely. Okay? Okay. This can be really frustrating because you look at yourself and you're wondering what did I do wrong? What, what can I do better next time? Well, hopefully from watching this video, I'm going to make you a little less confused when you're texting a girl that you like and get her to like you a lot more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you five do's and five don'ts when it comes to texting. Okay, so let's start with the first don't. The first don't is when you get a girl's phone number, when you start texting her, don't just say hey or what's up. Too many guys, when they first text a girl, they don't put any effort into the message they send them. Or if it's from a dating app or something like that, the first thing they hit them up with is, hey, or what's up. If you don't put any thought into your first message, don't expect her to put any thought into her first message. I understand this is not a guarantee that she's going to send something thoughtful back, but it is going to raise your chances that something like that will happen. You can't control what she's going to respond with, but you can't control what you're going to send her to raise your chances. The first do is do when you get her phone number, do text her right away or do text her soon after you get that number. I see a lot of guys, they wait like three days or a week to seem like they're cool because they don't want to be too eager or they don't want to be needy. Guys, it's the 21st century. People are meeting a lot of different people in their everyday lives. If you wait three days or a week, she's probably going to forget about you or she's going to think that you're not interested. So I would just text her when you get the phone number as soon as you have a moment. I like to text the girl right away just so I don't forget, uh, but you don't have to text her that fast if you don't want to, but do text her soon after you get it. And when you do text her, don't be boring. Like I said, the hey or what's up is bad too, but also if you text her something longer, it can still be boring. So something like, hi, this is Lloyd from Hinge. We were just texting a little while ago. It's great to meet you. How are you? Now, there's nothing wrong with this message. You can send this if you want to, but wouldn't it be better if it was a little bit more fun and playful? So that brings us into our next do, which is do be fun and playful when you text somebody. If you like somebody, you want to have fun with them. So an example of maybe a little bit more fun message would be something like, hey, guess who? I'll give you a clue. He has thick eyebrows and curly hair. So this is when I got the girl's phone number. Instead of me just declaring who it was, I turned it into a little bit of a game. If she's not down to play with you, chances are that person's probably not for you. But again, this is coming from a less boring, more energetic, and more fun standpoint. When guys are texting girls that they like, frequently I will find that they do this. Don't do this. Don't doubt yourself. Too many guys, when they get a text message or the girl takes a few hours to respond, they automatically assume it's them. They automatically assume that they text something wrong or the girl doesn't like them. She might have been at work. She might have been in the middle of something. She might have uh, been busy. So too often when they text someone, they assume she's going to say no. An example of this might be, hey, I know you're probably busy, but would you want to hang out sometime? Question mark. Now, this guy reeks of insecurity. He wants to ask this girl out, he wants her to come out with him, but he doubts that she actually is going to do that. So he's already assumed that things aren't going to work out. That's not very confident. She's not going to be as into that as a guy who does assume that she does want to go out with him, which would look like this. So do show confidence when you're texting your girl. You could say something like, I found a spot you're going to love. And she says, why? What is it? And then I say, the best soft tacos in all of Austin. Okay, this is going to be someone who assumes the attraction, who is confident in what he's saying, and because of that, it's going to sound like a lot better option for her to go to. If you already assume that she's going to say no, she probably will. If you assume she's going to say yes, more likely she's going to. When you are texting a girl, hopefully you've seen from my examples, don't make your texts long and complicated. I know, I know there's going to be some women out there that are very intelligent and you can talk about very esoteric and complicated topics with them, but most women just want to have short, simple, fun conversations with you, even if they are a smart person. You know, if they look at their phone and they see a long message, why would they want to see that? So for instance, if, you, if a girl just saw a movie, don't text her something super long like, hey Maddie, hope you had fun watching the last Star Wars movie. I personally am not such a big fan of the newer ones. What's your take on how the Disney movies compare to the Lucas versions? I know the prequels weren't good, but oh my God, dude. It's like she sees all of that and she's thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna have to respond to all of this stuff. I'm getting my hair done. I just wanna say something you know, short, sweet, and quick, all right? 
it's much more likely that you're gonna get a response if you, sh if you text something a little bit shorter. For instance, after she had seen the movie and told you that she liked it, you could have said, haha, that's hilarious. Would have been even better if you wore a Darth Vader costume. Short, simple, fun, and a little bit teasing. That's the kind of message that women are gonna like a lot more. The next don't that I see a lot of guys do is don't just text her, just to text her. Sometimes guys will text a girl just to get a response and it's really needy, it's really insecure, and it doesn't really make for a good conversation. That's not what's gonna get her to like you. For instance, I see a lot of guys texting a girl, happy Monday, or something that means nothing. This could maybe even be a good morning text too. Saying good morning every once in a while is fine, especially if you're dating, but just saying happy Monday just to say happy Monday is not really making for a guy who's very secure with himself. You're literally just texting her so you get a response and you feel better. If you are gonna text her, do have a reason that you texted her. That reason could be to make plans for the future. Even though I like to flirt, even though I like to talk over text, the main reason why you got her number in the first place is to meet up with her in person. So if that's the reason that you got it, then stick to that reason and make sure that when you're saying things, it's contributing to that reason. Banter is fun, play is fun, but what's not fun is wasting someone's time when you're clearly looking for something. So remember those principles, those do's and don'ts are the ways that I would go about texting. If you're violating any of these rules and you're having problems, well, then now you know better ways of texting. So I'll be coming out with more of these videos in the future. If they were helpful to you, put some comments down below. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you're looking to get coached by me or if you're looking for any of my courses, there are links in the description box below. Thanks a lot, y'all.